Door of Clubs. I am the co-founder and CEO, and we are a digital community for college clubs. Think business, engineering clubs, and we connect them to funding and job opportunities from companies. I started the company with the thought of, I'm gonna to talk to all these Fortune 100 CEOs and CHROs about what is the struggle with college talent? What's the problem with college recruiting? And they all said there was a misalignment, a misunderstanding, and really there was a lack of progress that was tr troubling in the space. And so what we believe is that companies will continue to struggle to get the best talent in college until they go deeper, and I'll talk to you about that. So we, we're saying that what if employers knew what mattered most to these students, what they wanted, and there was a direct way to connect to those students? Currently, the real problem is that when you look at large companies, they're talking about competing against everybody in the same arenas, career fairs, think of that. When you talk about soft skills, the students aren't prepared. They feel like they're not ready to enter the workforce. And it's a bloodbath. It's a red ocean. Every company's competing at the same places. So I believe, and what we believe, is that shallowness is the problem. Everything is surface oriented. The world is creating a lot more horizontal and a lot less vertical. The internet created a lot more surface, but it hasn't created a lot of depth. Student clubs at colleges are a great lever to pull for depth. Student clubs are a very unique space. And if you can get the right depth and you can leverage student clubs properly, it gives you a devastating competitive advantage, which, like Kareem, was his skyhook. Really simple, companies, they get insider access and insights, and clubs make money. So clubs invite their members to sign up, they answer questions, the members get job opportunities, Money comes from companies. I am a fisherman, so I look at it as this is a better pole, a stocked lake, and it's the right bait if you can understand what these students want when they answer your questions. It's coming. The thought is, is this really a true opportunity or is this a niche thing? Is this a little fad? Think about club growth. I just want you to look at this at Harvard. Enrollment has increased by 10%. However, the student club increased by 400%, the amount of clubs. So clubs are growing in popularity. One of two students now belongs to a club, and that's rising. There's more participation. Soft skills, we saw earlier how that's a big problem with big employers. Clubs have the number one source of soft skills on a college campus. It's the most direct way to engage with a college student body and number one source for diverse talent, which is such an important thing now for employers. And I want to remind you that not all data is created equally. If you have this data that you, that you gather from, say, um, you know, career sources, any, any type of data, it's generic. It's not applicable to a company. So what we provide is this contextual data, where companies can ask these questions and understand this student wants to move to Dallas, they're interested in finance, and they want to work for a large company. And they're incentivized to do that through our model. It gets down to being personal as a fingerprint. That's where the future is going, is getting deeper. And for diversity, let's talk about how it's a flat line of growth. It hasn't increased, so you need these sources of talent for these companies to access. Companies already, are they doing this? Trying to go to clubs? Yes, almost 80% recruit through clubs. Currently, 7.5% of students in clubs, the student leaders, actually get back to the employers. Think of that delta. Clubs are stuck in the 90s. I don't know if Scream was in the 90s or the 2000s, but it's scary either way. There's a back page directory just like Yahoo. It looks that bad on a, on a college website. Super easy, again, the model. Club, mem club leader invites their members. The members answer questions, they're incentivized to do so, the club makes money, and they trust us as their job channel for the club. Really big logos, paying customers, some of the best in the world, and we have a really small team. 
I'm kind of small myself, as you can see. Really good talent, the most in demand. Software, STEM related, diverse. Our student growth has been significant. Steady, and we're ready to grow even more. Our growth in revenue has been going well. This year is going to be another good year. We're doing something different. Got to create a first mover competitive advantage. The world's going to pay for data, paid data, not this world where everything's free and you get in trouble like Facebook. People want to participate and get paid for it. Gen Z, very different than millennials. Very different. And they are 50% more likely than millennials to complete anything online for a reward. Is this a real thing? I was skeptical at first. We have 3,000 clubs on our platform. There's 600,000 in the US alone. All the gold in life comes from depth. You got to dig. This is about depth. This is a platform for depth. If you need me, contact me. We'll be raising money soon. Appreciate your time.